Hello oh, guys, uh, as you can see I have uh, an aquarium, it's a rather nice aquarium, it's got fish, fish and stuff and whatnot. quite good, in the corner there's a heater, some people who keep aquariums may wonder, they may be scared thinking what if the glass breaks, what if the glass breaks in my heater, will it fry all my fish, will it electrocute everything, will we all die, well basically I have a hospital tank here, this is in case anyone gets poorly or I have baby fish or whatever uh, the usual sort of deal mini tank little here as you can see it broke the uh, the glass broke it's a bit of a mess and what happened was uh, I did that typical thing where you're doing a water change if you get to turn your heater off you put a bit of water back in and crack goes your heater so it broke so I'm going to test what happens when all the contacts and the coils and everything are left like that when you plug it in. Could be dangerous. Who knows? I don't know. Let's see. My theory is it is just a coil. Um, you know, it's a heat transference coil. Uh, so it is usually dry, gets warm, the heat's transferred through the glass. Uh, so my theory is that the heat will be transferred through the water. Uh, outside the water it will probably go really red and burn up and probably smoke. Inside the water, I'm not sure. So let's find out. That's the plug. And in you go. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening straight away. It's sizzling away. doing it's uh, boiling the water basically so my theory was correct as long as there's heat transference the coils will stay intact would is it electrified is the water electrified I doubt it to be honest I, I don't ideally I don't really want to test it I don't want to stick my finger in but I don't think it is to be honest with you I think maybe like, like a short answer probably a little bit maybe the long answer, probably not. Like as much as you'd think, I don't think it'd electrify the fish. I think it'd probably set a small current through the water. Uh, not many volts, not many amps. So it does seem as though, as long as these don't cross, I don't think it will electrify the water. But it does look like it's boiling. If they cross, what happens when they cross? <laughs> Cross, cross, touch each other, touch each other. <laughs> uh, not alright that. Oh, it stops down there and then it, oh, hey, it blew up. <laughs> so as I said, as long as they don't cross, which they just did, it blew the top part. That was scary. <laughs> So it started working at the top and then blew up. It went pop. So that is one dead heater now. So yeah, so that appears to be what happens when you your heater breaks. As long as the two wires don't touch each other, they shouldn't short out and otherwise it should just fizzle. So for a split second, not much of an issue. Cool.